Hi everyone, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. In my last video, I've shown you the procedure to replace a block in a drawing using the Replace Block tool in the Express Tools tab. In this video, I'll show you the procedure to replace an existing block with an external reference. The procedure is very simple. Just give the block to xref command. So I'll give block to xref command. Then you will get the block to xref dialog. Here, the software will ask you to select the block to be replaced with an xref. I'll select W2 which is this particular block which you see in the blocks palette and that block is inserted at several different locations in this 3D model. So I'll give OK. Now I have to select the extra file. I'll select this particular extra file which is W2 underscore 1. Now when you replace this particular block with an external reference, this block will become an unreferenced block. Now you have two options. You can either retain this particular unreferenced block so that it can be inserted later or you can purge it. Now I don't want to purge it, I want to retain it. So I'll type no. Just give enter. Now you can see that this particular block is replaced with an external reference and the original block definition is retained in the drawing. Now I'm going to make some changes on the xref to file. And I'll save this file. Now I'll go back to the drawing in which this file is xref'd. And you have got the bubble notification that this xref is modified. I'll click on reload to see the changes. Now we have got the xref compare toolbar with which you can compare the changes. I'll just click on this arrow to see the changes. You can turn off and on this xref compare feature. I'll give OK. Now you can see that this change is reflected on all the external references. So that's the application of block to xref tool in AutoCAD. Hope this tutorial was useful. Until I catch you with another informative video on CAD, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.